हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर तन्मय विश्वास आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री द मिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज अबाउट एन एमसीक्यू अबाउट द रिएक्शन ऑफ एनिलाइट सो दिस मॉलिक्यूल इज एनिलाइट इफ इट्स ट्रीटेड विथ नाइट्रिक एसिड एंड एसिडिक एनहाइड्राइड वट इज द मेजर प्रोडक्ट सो इन दिस कॉन्टेक्सट फॉर ऑप्शन आर प्रोवाइडेड एंड वन ऑफ देम इज द राइट आंसर आई रिक्वेस्ट यू स्टूडेंट प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो ट्राई बाई योर सेल्फ एंड वट एवर आंसर यू गेट Please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. Don't hesitate whether your answer will be right or wrong because self-evaluation is essential for improvement and that's why you should try. I believe you have tried by yourself so it's my turn to give you the right answer. As usual I request you again that student please read the reagent and condition. This condition is pretty common nitric acid acetic anhydride. It is a mild nitration reaction. so in this nitration reaction what electrophile is needed or produced it is no2 plus so this is nitronium acetate actually if i say nitronium acetate generation reaction and in this case this nitronium act as the electrophile so this is the electrophile and you can see this is actually a benzene nucleus so what you can expect aromatic electrophilic substitution now question where the electrophilic substitution will occur and what is the role of these two ortho dimethyl group let's learn it so remember student the first step as i told how this nitronium acetate is produced so you can think that the lone pair of these oxygen because these oxygen attack has fate other do not have so i'm not showing so it will attack it will open it will come back it will go so one side will be acetate and another side will be this is n double bond o o minus and here o obviously there is one h and this is this c double bond so it obviously this nitrogen has one positive charge now in the next step this lone pair electron pushes and it leaves so in this way what it produces this nitronium its counter ion is acetate so this is the electrophile now in this case this electrophile reacts with this aromatic ring and you can see this position so i mean meta attack happens and after this attack it produces positive charge here and this positive charge is student resonance stabilized by these double bonds that's true fine and ultimately by elimination of proton it gets aromaticity means this final product this metas nitro product okay now a simple or most important question comes that we know these anilides for example these molecules are called anilides so in h c o c h 3 so this is actually called as anilides mm -hmm. so these anilides student they are ortho para orienting and you can say it's activating you will say that sir there is a carbonyl group i agree carbonyl group which means these lone pair of electron is delocalized in two side it is either delocalized in this side with this carbonyl point number 1 not only that it could be delocalized into this aromatic ring also the two way so you may consider this is mild activating but why meta substitution <coughs> sorry meta substitution happens and what is the role of these two ortho dimethyl group now student this thing we will learn in the next slide so this is because of one phenomena called steric inhibition of resonance or ortho dimethyl effect so in this context what happens see these lone pair if these lone pair on nitrogen wants to undergo conjugation with this benzene nucleus okay then what is needed that these nitrogen lone hybridization will be sp2 and this lone means oh, everything will come in the plane so if it comes in the plane there will be a severe steric repulsion between this two methyl group and this hydrogen and this methyl group this is called ortho dimethyl effect or in another term steric inhibition of resonance now because 
of this actually this delocalization of electron is stabilization it's true but these steric repulsion is a severe unstabilization so that's why this delocalization doesn't happen and in order to avoid this repulsion these OAC and the hydrogen remains out of plane so if they remain out of plane and these nitrogen remain in sp3 hybridization then what happened the lone pair is not in conjugation with this benzene ring so if no means because of this out of plane arrangement of this acetyl and hydrogen the lone pair cannot be conjugated into the benzene ring because if it is conjugated then hybridization will be again sp2 then this because after conjugation there will be nitrogen carbon double bond means sp2 hybridization so acetyl and hydrogen need to come to plane so that's not possible and in this context since the nitrogen delocalization not possible to avoid this orthodimethyl effect what happens this nitrogen also shows its minus i effect why because if you look at the electronegativity between carbon and nitrogen, this nitrogen is delta negative because of relatively higher electronegativity whereas this carbon is delta positive. So in this case what you can expect that this nitrogen shows actually it is expected that minus i and plus r but since plus r not possible only minus i operates and because of these minus i effect it became withdrawing. I know you have understand that how much interesting this problem is. It is withdrawing and meta directing. So that's why we got selective meta substitution because of this steric inhibition of resonance or ortho dimethyl effect. So what is the answer of today's question? So meta substitution and everything will be same. So option C is the right answer. Now if this question appear in your exam less than 30 seconds, how could you come up to the right answer? See for that reason you need to know what is the consequence of this reagent nitric acid acetic anhydride it produces nitronium cation which is actually the electrophile and this reaction is student pretty mild this nitric acid and acetic anhydride and in this case acetic anhydride act as a dehydrating agent you may consider and produces this electrophile fine. Now if you look at these molecule this is the important point because of these ortho dimethyl groups these nitrogen lone pair cannot be delocalized into the benzene nucleus to avoid the orthodimethyl effect. So plus are not possible then minus I will operate. So where minus I will operate obviously this meta position. Secondly this position is ortho with respect to this methyl and para with respect to this methyl. So it is significantly activated too. Okay, so deactivation because of nitrogen lone pair and deactivation of because of minus I effect of nitrogen and ortho para means this meta position is ortho to one methyl and para to another. So that's why you can understand that this is the desired position for aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction. So obviously its reaction will happen here. So in which condition it's given obviously see and just look at this option A is the ipso substitution not possible here so, uh, uh, sorry not ipso substitution so option B is the ipso substitution not possible here and option A that nitration fine but these in CH3CO NH group is gone a simple workup it can't go not possible and fourth option para substitution as the beginning I told because of ortho dimethyl effect these NH cannot delocalize its lone pair into the benzene nucleus. So how can it result in para product not possible. So only this option C remains this is the product. So in conclusion what you have learned today that aromatic amine results both plus R and minus I effect in, in to the aromatic nucleus and they are activating in nature ultimately. The plus R effect operates through the lone pair donation into the benzene ring and for that purpose means the, during the donation of lone pair the system becomes planar because the nitrogen atom became sp2 hybridized and in this context the ortho dimethyl group doesn't allow the planarity of Mi due to st severe steric repulsion between the two ortho dimethyl group and this NH and another thing. So in such cases the Mi derivative shows sigma withdrawing and sigma withdrawing or minus i effect and that's why it shows meta directing 
and not only that this methyl group is also orthopara orienting and activating for aromatic electrolytic substitution so ultimate goes to ultimates this electrophilic substitution goes to the meta position and finally the in the nitric acid and acetic anhydride system the anhydride is actually had, is prone to withdraw or absorb the water molecule from nitric acid that type of reaction it does and it helps to generate the electrophile that is nitronium cation and that undergo aromatic electrophilic substitution. So this is the end of discussion. I believe this video may be useful. Please write your opinion in the comment box and if possible, please help this channel to grow if you really can, can consider that this channel provides you worthy content. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.